Well, hello there, chums, as I, Captain Steven. Yes, I nearly said an exo, but hey, <laughs> it's not No Man's Sky. No, this is The Last Campfire by Hello Games, the same studio that made No Man's Sky. So, yeah, I'm going to be streaming this live, giving my first impressions and giving it a bit of a playthrough. Now, I pre-warn you, though, chums, I am not really into puzzler-type games. Uh, let's go into options. Let's see what I can do. Let's just turn the music down a tad. And uh, yeah, we've got the narrator there, that's fine. What's this US English? Where's the English English? UK English, brilliant. Okay, cool. This was made in an English studio. Awesome. Right, hello there, Dutch 66. Evening, sir. Right, so there we go. Let's um, hit new game. And let's. Uh, normal mode for me, please. Yeah. Explorer mode. I wonder what that is. Snooky. Right. Cool. Oh, we got Pavlos in the house and Luigi. Hello there, chums. Dutch 66. I'm watching Gamescom and hoping that home. Hello. Yeah. Me too. Well, I was watching it. I was watching it when this dropped. I just saw the World of Warcraft, the expansion. It was just a load of drawings, no gameplay. I was like, what the fudge is this? Damash. Hello there, Damash. Well, um, you have a good time at work, but you, call, you got me on mute. Awesome. Well, I don't know whether you're going to need too much going on here. I think it puts captions on the screen anyway. I, I think. I don't know. Tyler Funder. Hello. Well, hello, Tyler Funder. Feeling Pilot 557 broadcast. Well, hello there. Hello. Hello there, Captain Steve. Salute to Mondo. Paphlos, what platform are you on? I'm on Plastation 4. Heck yes. And uh, Dutch 66. Evening, Cap. Evening, Dimash. Well, evening, Dodge. And we've got Brad in the house. Hello there, Brad. Awesome. So, um, I thought I thought I was a little blue guy. I didn't think I was red. What's going on here? Yeah, we're, we're, I guess we'll find out in a bit. Um, these canoes, they don't move all that fast, canoes. You know, they're not exactly as fast as, like, um, you know, speedboats and what have you. Shorty Beard, well, howdy there, Captain. Hello there. Dimash and Dutch, I keep getting you guys mixed up. I don't know why my brain does that. It has a fart every now and again. And, uh, yeah, I might call Dimash Dutch and uh, vice versa. Sorry about that, guys. Right, so here we are. What's this fire logo all about? I guess because it's the last campfire. That's a reference to fire. There's fire up there as well. We hear a lot about embers. I think the main character's called Ember. Am I a pyromaniac running around in a pillowcase? That's kind of the impression I get from this game so far, chums. But we shall see. Hello there, Robert. Hello, hello. Well, hello there to you, Mr. Robert. Right. Yeah, I, I honestly thought I was blue. I didn't think I was red. Mm, maybe that's not me. Starman! Welcome aboard, Starman. Awesome. Loved your uh, your callback costume at the old meetup, sir. Very impressed art. Daniel! Hello there, Daniel. You was asking if I was live streaming earlier. It's finally here, Daniel. Heck yes. You could probably sense I was getting a little bit frustrated waiting for this thing to freaking drop. I've been checking every hour. On the hour. <laughs> All day. Pretty much. Yeah. But here we go. Yeah, it's fun times. I've also been watching South Park. I've never watched South Park in series. And it's all on Netflix now, so I've been I've had that in on in the background while I've been working at home. Oh my god, there's some laugh out moments in freaking South Park, there really is. I've, <laughs> if you've got Netflix, yeah, chuck it on, it's awesome. Anyway, Moose Gaming, well hello there, Moose Gaming. We've got some good content creators in the house today, chums. Moose Gaming, Dutch 66, both awesome content creators there, chums. And uh, yeah, they do all different sort of games, not just No Man's Sky and stuff. So if you are looking to wet your whistle with another game, check out what they've been playing. Here we go, yeah, there are like uh, captions there. There is a place where the lost embers go. Oh, I love the voice. Oh, that's a magical voice. It sounds Icelandic, doesn't it? As like the that. light begins to fade. Oh, that's quite sweet. Uh, that adds to the ambiance. You mean Dimash? Yes, Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> cool, here we go. There we are. Oh, yeah, 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 Dimash. Dimash, not Dutch. Yeah, Dimash. Dimash is a content creator. See, I got mixed up again. Hello, little guys. What the fudge are those blue things on me? What the heck are they? They don't look like embers. They don't look like fire, do they? Okay. Alright, so I am blue. I didn't even see where the red one went. <laughs> but I'm still just reading this. I'm not going to do well in this stream, am I, chums? Puzzle games and me do not mix. I, you're probably going to have to help me with this game. Unbelievable. To face what was to come. 
Okay. Brilliant. All right, so she's narrating how I'm feeling, is she? All right, okay, cool. Well, we're going to head off this way. It's the only way I could go. The wall so. glistened. Oh, did it? I didn't even see the wall glistening. Okay, cool. Lovely. The painting showed embers <laughs> on a sacred journey. Sorry, Dimash. Oh, the painting showed ember on the sacred journey. Oh, it has. Look. Oh, the little rowing thing. That happened. Big freaking maze. Am I going to play Pac-Man? That's what that looks like. And then I'm going to get incinerated. Right, I think... I, I, let's find the off switch, chums. This does not look like fun if I'm going to be cremated. Okay, right. I did say I'll become a pyromaniac in a freaking pillowcase. And that's, that kind of... It, it looks like it's coming true. I do, I do look like I'm running around in a pillowcase. Oh, you look like you've had better days, my little friend. I felt so afraid and alone. That okay. it was a relief to find someone to talk to. I don't think they're going to hold a conversation. I really don't. But knock yourself out. Yeah. Ember froze, almost too frightened to look away. When they noticed the small satchel. You're going to rob the dead. Brilliant. That's that, the first thing that springs to mind. Yeah. Do that. Yeah, I'd, I'm not too sure I'd be doing that, to be honest. They could have had some sort of disease. That bag could have COVID all over it. Okay, brilliant. Let's, um... <sighs> rather him... Okay, stranger satchel. Brilliant. We've just, we've just mugged the dead person. This is going good so far, isn't it? Now, Hello Games are done with this. I'm hoping we get some No Man's Sky updates new soon. The That'd be heavy. nice. Ember looked inside. Great. Uh, but then they only just really announced this within the last 24 hours that they are looking. It's kind of like, oh, we're surprised. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's a lovely statue, isn't it? You know, we've just robbed a dead person for that. Is it... Really? Okay, brilliant. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Okay, there was what's a this? Symbol on the floor. It's a fire symbol. I'm t pyromaniac. Okay, cool, right? Um, brilliant. And there's a symbol up here Ember as well. Noticed something wrong. It's upside down. You can tell that straight away. Unless it's a Hadouken symbol. Right, okay, here we go. This game is out now. It is, yes, on PlayStation. Yeah. Okay, which one? Oh, yeah, I've got to rotate this one. There we go. Rotate, rotate. There you go, it's up the right way. Fix that. Puzzle Master Extraordinaire. Do I go down in the hole? What the fudge is this? What what the heck's that? There was a okay. round space where something used to fit. Oh, that would be the little um the thing that was in the stranger's satchel. The stranger's dead for a freaking reason. Did he go and do this first? Okay, right. We're going to give it a go. Then. Right. Delight, the golden statue slid perfectly into place. Oh, right. Okay. Well, I'm going to hold that and let's move that there. Um I'm going to stick that down there. And if I move this one into that slot there, I should be able to get this one past the two spiky ones and slap it in there. Bob's your uncle. I just won myself a crystal for the crystal maze. Well done, me. Awesome. Yeah, I might actually play that every time I solve a puzzle. As a little treat for your ears and for my mouth. Yeah, it's not, it's not really actually. Left. It's got a very metallic Feeling taste. Feeling sorry for the stranger now alone in the dark. He's freaking dead. He's got no eyeballs. I think he's been blind for a while. He's been in the dark a lot longer than I would give him credit for, to be fair. And let's not assume his gender. It could have been a female. Who knows? Anyway, let's press on. Okay. Oh, this looks a bit prettier, doesn't it? This is nice. And they could feel fear taking over. Okay. They'd awesome. Up alone. Somewhere very unfamiliar. There's a bird. Hello, bird. Get back, bird. Yeah, I'm going to catch you. Put you in my satchel. This has a very sort of nightmarish sort of um, feel to it. There used to be a TV show called Nightmare where you've got this bucket on your head and a little satchel. That's kind of what I am right now. Okay, so let's head on over here. felt like they were being watched. Oh, well, I just saw a little wildling critter down here. Are they foxes? What did the, the frog say? into the night. Yeah, see, that's what foxes sound like. Not that they don't go. Dip, 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 dip. No, they make this horrible noise, foxes. And it's not really a howl. It sounds like a scream. It's freaking haunting. Okay, what's down this way? 
I'm not going to go the way it tells me, no. The path was blocked. Oh, by blocks as well. Brilliant. Awesome. Quite literally blocked. OK, well, this has been quite linear so far, but I guess we've got to come back this way at some stage. Daniel Kidd, hey, if you're looking for a game to play, you should try Rocket League. It's going free this summer. Um, it was free some time ago. I didn't even bother adding it to my downloads list because I'm not into soccer. And I know it's not soccer, really, is it? Or uh, football or whatever you want to call the game. But um, to be honest, yeah, I don't know. Has I might give it a go. Problem. People say it's awesome. The flames seem to call out. Yeah, I told you it was a freaking pyromaniac, didn't I? It's, it's got um, pyrotechnics written all over it, hasn't it? With the symbols, his name and everything else. And the use of fire and playing with it. Perfect for kids, this game. Yeah. <laughs> with a feeling like falling, the forest cool. had slipped away. Ember felt lost okay. in darkness Let's, uh, pick this and up. ruin. It was free on PlayStation years ago when it first came out. It was on, um, you know, the PlayStation Plus stuff. I'm just going to move stuff around. Um, uh, I've, I've, it, it kind of, this bit all feels fairly. This this just feels just like moss to me right now. New hope in Ember. There we are. Let's just uh, pull that. Oh look, it slides across. How novel. There's a lot of sliding and moving stuff around so far. Let's uh, chuck the chain down there and then I've got myself a little makeshift ladder. Lovely jubbly. And I run down here. And uh, I pick this up. You see, the trouble is with me, chums, is a lot of the stuff looks logically makes sense to me. It's like I'm not going to go up that side because it's blocked off. You see, there's like a brick there. So I'm going to go back up this and then walk across. You know, some of these puzzles I kind of are very intuitive and I've got also the the, the sense of if I was making a puzzle what would I do and how would I make the puzzle reach. going on so there we are epic duck all platforms okay off auto correct nice yeah okay well if it's free I'd, I'd definitely give it a look but to be honest Rocket League has never really appealed and Ember listened what you can listen to fire that makes no sense but it's it's like a blue flame it's not red it's not like the fire in the bottom corner so let's have a listen okay all right well that was that was strange but the, don't hold it someone i mean there, there was a little guy dead earlier and he's going around just touching everything this guy you know. Okay, right, okay, fair enough. Uh, what's over here? Is there anything over here? What's down here? Oh no, I came from that way, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, brilliant. Yep, we're going through here. Lovely jubbly. Yep. Sweet. I could have checked to see if that other pathway was unblocked, but I don't think it would have been. I think there would have been some sort of indication that it had, you know. Right, the somehow I can look in my satchel, I don't know how, but here we go. The games, the, oh, the flame lingered ahead, brilliant. Okay, let's go over there then, let's, oh, I guess we can, oh, we can run, nice, lovely, awesome. I haven't tried pressing it? any buttons yet, that was the first, yeah, cool. Right, so we're going to follow this we'll little flame. Levi Revers, well, hello there. Oh, I'm Big Pidge. Hello there, Big Pidge. Hi, Captain Steve. I can't wait to play this. It looks really cool. I tell you what, the narration is beautiful. The voice, the voice is all... There's some little blue guys all around a dead body over there by looks of things, chumps. We'll find out what's going on over there in a bit, I guess. But yeah, the narration's nice. The ambience is nice. The actual feeling of the game is nice. I like the cell shadedness. But it does kind of look like it's been made like in um, something like Dreams or something, doesn't it? It does look like a Dreams title. But it, it has got a certain sense of magic and wonder already. Life. I'm really liking it. It reminds me a little bit of Journey. Yes, it does actually, yeah. Or even Abzu. The ghost yeah, it's got that sort of feel. Hope has returned to a forlorn. Okay, what? Well, a forlorn. Forlorn is usually somebody that's a little bit sad, a little bit down on themselves. I'm feeling forlorn, mopey. You know, drab. I will warn them until they choose to move on. Okay, and fair enough. To Lovely. The ghost for answers. It's a big freaking version of us, isn't it? That's quite a tall, like, little ember. Where am I? This is a place between places. A limbo. Okay, cool. To Lovely. travel through you as your light fades. Okay. But none have passed on in a long time. Well, this just sounds pretty dark. The okay, Forest cool. King now holds us here. 
Okay. And those Fair who enough. linger will turn forlorn. Right, yeah. Again, that word, forlorn. Fair enough. Well, I know what forlorn is, so there you go. Who are you? I am just a guide along the way to fan the flame. Okay. So many lost embers have I seen. More than I could help. Well, maybe I can help, you know? Give me an employee badge with some sort of star rating, I'm yours. Okay, forlorn. The forlorn are those who lost their way along the path. Okay, maybe not then. Okay, I thought it was sad, drab, down. But there if we you are. find them, send them to me and I will guide them. I guess that's what they just call them. Campfire Souls. That works for me, Walter White. Walter White, that's a Breaking Bad reference. Like it. Nice one, Walter. Oh, and hello, and AO. Of those they loved. Those they'd left behind. I want to move on. I want to help others. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. Okay, so I send them to you, you help them, so I'm not really helping them really. Okay. Step backwards, little Ember. Look behind. Upon a small grassy cliff rests a forlorn. Oh uh, yeah, I saw them on the way here. They've got these little blue blobs by them. Alright, okay, but I, I couldn't see a way over there, to be fair. I'm just going to press on this way. The stranger said, take care of those you care about the most. Okay, cool. Um, fair enough. Well, let's have a quick look behind me then. What, what was that all about? Yeah, I can see them over there, but I've got no way of interacting with them. And I don't think I can get over there just yet anyway. I think going right would make the most logical sense, but let's just have a little butchers around here. So there is a ladder going, and there's some steps going down to the uh, left as well. Let's head on up to the top here. Let's not go left or right just yet. Let's have a look at what's on the wall. The door was sealed shut. Right, yeah, brilliant. I could have guessed. Right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go right first. Okay, maybe not because. Uh, oh yes, we can go down that way, and down these steps. Let's go this way first. Let's see if we can make our way up to that little dead body with the little blue things. Custard Horror! Well, hello there. Hello, Steve. It's me, Dark Knight. I, I've got a good memory, Mr. A.O. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go this way. And, um... Okay. Right, so there's some weird blue blobs there. We've got ourselves a giant lily pad in the middle. And we've got ourselves what looks like a little fisherman that looks a little bit forlorn. Right, okay. Let's head on over here. Maybe I should try doing stuff on this before I go through that hole. Let, let's go talk to some of these things. Let's go see if anything does anything. Right. Hello, blue blobs. Okay, so this is the pond. Nice. Hello. Well, you done fudge all. Okay, well, that was a complete waste of time. Okay, I can jump on these, can I? Nice. Brilliant. What about you, um, Mr. Bunny Rabbit Man? Okay, well, I, I think I've come from around the wrong way. Maybe I should have just gone with my gut instinct and just left. But let's uh, see if we can talk to this lily pad. Barely visible through the murky water was the shadow of something hiding. Yep, Custard Horror Heisenberg is right. This is so dark. Souls for kids. It does kind of feel very dark, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I'm liking the ambience, though. I'm, I'm liking the sort of feel that it has. Even though it is quite dark... It, you kind of want to help this little guy. I was thinking that tree might fall down and create a little bridge, but I can't get over there at the moment, so we'll just press on through here then. Okay, excellent. What the fudge are you? Okay, you're a little frog. Ah! I'm going to catch you, froggies. Ah! Okay. Yeah, they're quite, they're quite cute. I quite, I'm liking the animations. Maybe there's somehow I've got to trigger these frogs to make the big frog do something. I don't know. No, probably not. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking it. Oh, hello. What are you just the standing there for? Curious. Where did you wake up? Oh, okay, I ate your Oreos. Hey, Steve. Would you happen to know when the next No Man's Sky update is coming out? Love the vids. Hope you're having a great day. Um... No, I have no idea when the next No Man's Sky update's coming out. My guess would have been around the 14th of August, which is long past. So, yeah, it's I was well far, wrong. I think. Okay. I've heard there's a nest there. A safe if place. I had to 
guess now though I would say perhaps after the weekend missions and the last mission is going to be mid-September here yeah, Burroughs audio ambient music is nice I actually turned the music down and just a just a touch but yes it is very nice I'm, I'm liking the narration as well the Icelandic sort of sounding lady very fitting very apt it's very cool yeah my, my subs are doing quite good aren't they Ayo? I'm, I'm fairly blown away to be fair okay let's uh, head down here then oh now I'm at the little fisherman apart from I've just got sort of snagged on something there hello little fisherman the fisherman murmured quietly between soulful breaths can't I just give him a little push? Splotch. That'd be quite funny. That is the million dollar question at Oreos. Heck yes. Yeah. What the fudge? How did this... What the... The fisherman felt so useless. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. Oh, look at that. I can rotate that. Okay. What well, that... Why would I want to, though? That's That's the question. All right, we're just going to leave that where it was for now, because... All right, well, it doesn't seem to be bothering me all that much. And I can't see something to that it could blow or interact with. I can't actually move the cameras to see if there's anything off-centre or off-side or something. Maybe I'd turn that one to face that one? Sitting out know. there every day by the pond. We'll do that. Just Only fun. the dark water to hear him talk. In that darkness, oh, a got an ember. Flickered. Oh, don't say that it's going to blow it back out when I go back up with it in my hands or something. Maybe I should have faced them both the opposite way. Like a drum. Okay, okay. Well, there's nothing the I can do about that. Like yeah, I bet you it's going to blow it out of my freaking hands, isn't it? I should have faced it the it opposite freaking direction. Well, I can't put it down now that it's in my hands. So this. Every I think I'm set up to fail before I even get up there, Jams. We'll see. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if this gets blown out of my freaking hands by this blinking thing. Ember couldn't hold on. Yeah, I knew that was going to freaking happen. Ass, you little git. Right, okay. Let's go back down again then. Righty ho. Lovely. Well, I couldn't put it back once I just had to let that happen. Can I just jump down there? No, I can't. Damn it. Right, okay. Lovely jubbly. Can I use a D-pad? Yes, I can use the D-pad rather than the um, hat stand. That's, that's probably better for me, to be honest. Right, there we go. Let's, let's go. Go on it. Actually, no, D-pad's a bit, bit, bit cack. Creative guys, well, hello there. Well, hello there, creative guys. Yeah, yeah just call, call meth this glitch. Sorry? Must have just... Okay, whatever. Right, okay, let's head on up here. Scottish Rod! Oh, I'm late. Well, hello there, Scottish. You haven't missed too much, to be fair. Um, I've, I've not long been in. Uh, this is probably only my third puzzle, maybe? So, yeah, let's let's um, give this guy the ember. and see if this, this cheers him up. Here you go. I'm going to set you on fire. I'm fairly sure that's going to help you. Oh, I think they're souls, aren't they? Yeah, the campfire souls. They are. Have that. Well, that woke him up. Lovely. Blind vision! Hello there, blind vision. Oddly pleasing. Looks moment, dark and blurred. To speak. Cool. Fashionably late, says Dutch. Nice one. He looked at Ember, hopeful. Aw, snack sweet. The fisherman spoke softly. There's a frog in that pond. A big one. Are you trying to catch said frog, not a fish? I'm just going to take off this hoodie. I'm getting a bit warm. A bit warm in the hoodie. Right, here we go. Cool. So I'm Grove from a tadpole. We were friends of a sort. Cool. Oh, fudge. Go on. Right, Spent brilliant. Every day, side by side. Tell me more. So much I like his hat. It looks like a fish is stuck on his head. It's, it's pretty gnarly. Yeah. Catches him before I can bait them. Oh, okay. It makes me feel useless some days. Maybe I need to get rid of this frog for you, isn't it? The fisherman sighed. I've wasted so much time feeling like this. But maybe 
Maybe do something the other than fishing. The old man then. looked carefully at the pond, at their rod, at Ember. Okay. Well, listen to me here, rambling on and on. It helps, though, telling someone. Thank you, Ember. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. This is quite a beautiful game, isn't it? Whimsical, I think the word is. Let's push this tree. I did I did say it'd probably form a bridge later, didn't I? There you go. Bridge formed. So now I can get back here quite quick, so it's almost like a little mini fast travel. Let's see if I can get this large frog to appear. Hello, large frog! The frog stared at Embo, its belly rumbling. It was a bit of an understatement, wasn't it, when he said large frog? It's frick it fills the frickin' pond. Uh, it just opened its mouth and all the fish are gone, you know what I mean? Okay, we've got Gavin Campbell here. Hello, Captain. Just lurking. Well, thanking you. Thanking you. Listen. Its Go. eyes were fixed on Embo, but it seemed to mean no harm. Okay. Was this the frog that the fisherman spoke of? <laughs> Can't see another one. This one kind of fits the bill of big. Embo could hardly ignore the rumbling from the frog's belly. I've, I've got to feed him. The only thing I could feed him is these blue guys over here, which is a little bit sinister if that's a thing. I don't think there's a gra oh X is a is a hold button, isn't it? Come here you I don't think I I, I would feed him one of those blue guys. That's so sounds that's just a little bit too sinister. I was kind of half imagining something might appear from one of these black tunnels or something. But uh no. Let's see if we can grab one of these. Come here you no, you can't pick anything up. Alright, well, I, I can't actually feed you at the moment, my froggy friend. Or if I am supposed to feed you, I can't actually work out what I'm supposed to feed you. So I'm just going to go back through here. Bye. Cool. Do you know if PT did his Ray Rod mod stream yet? No, no, Dutch. I think he I think we was going to do something on Monday on the next Nexus show. I can't pick up these little frogs either. There is no pick-up button yet. I can run, but that's about all I can do. Let's go over to this thing, see if this interacts now. No, that does nothing still. Okay, well I guess we'll just run around in a big circle for a, for a sec. See if I've missed anything. What what do you do? Oh, I can pick this freaking thing up! Okay, well let's... What happens if I put one frog facing the other frog? Kaboom! Secret tunnel! Okay, yeah. So on Monday's Nexus show, that's when when we're going to have him on. Uh, but oh, has he? Oh, you mean actually play in the mod? I uh, know. I think that's going to be tomorrow or something. Tomorrow morning. I think he gets Fridays off or Friday mornings off or something. Hello, who are you? You you don't look all that well. My, oh my fudging days! I've been teleported somewhere else. Now this puzzle looks like it's beyond my level of doing. Maze. This is where I get frustrated, chums, and probably give up. But we will see. We'll see how I get on. Yeah. Push. And push again. Lovely. Let's spin this around. Mm. If I go there... Where could I push that little thing to? I'm not going to be able to move past that. Maybe I should have left it where it was for now and see how far I can actually get. We'll, we'll leave it there. Sod it. Let's go this way. Right, okay. So let's go up here and let's push that off of here and see what that does. Actually, if I did push that off of there, it's probably going to cause me a problem, isn't it? Oh, okay. Well, I've moved it now, anyhow. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, see, this is where I'm, I'm not so great. But let's... Uh, let's Get under the friggin' stairs! Okay, let's go down here. Drop the rog on the frog. <laughs> Brilliant! Yeah, okay, well that, see that did nothing, did it? So let's, uh... Oh! Okay, cool. Alright. So, uh, can I pull that this way? Can I bring, can I pull this? I can. Okay, now I can run round the other way and push it. Bam, bam, bam. Right, get off the ladder. No, nope. let go. Yeah, we want that there, I think. 
Now if I moved it across there, there's no real point in doing that. But I might need a second one, so now I know that I can pull it. That's good. Ah! But I can't... I don't think I'm going to be able to move it off of here. No. Ass. Okay. Um... Okay, I see what I've got to do then. I think. I've got to go back over here. Pull it back this way one one notch. There we are. Now go over there. And then... Spin it all the way around. No, it freaking moved. Didn't it? No, it didn't. There we are. That's it. That's what I wanted. And then I should be able to push it over there. Okay, I don't know why I need it there. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. I can stay there for now. Um... Can I just drop off of that that ledge up there? Let's just test something. You see, this this is what I don't really like puzzle games for this reason because I, I suck at puzzle games. I really do. Okay, so let's uh, go over this way. You know what? Let's just forget that there's even those concrete wheels there for a second. Let's um, let's just see how far I can get. I, I want to pull this back this way now. Come on, go that way. No, stop there. That's it. I'm going up here. Let's go over here. Let's see why I even need to do that. Ah, I need to fill that hole down there so I can get to this ladder. All right. Well, I can't pull that off of there, so... I don't even know. Why do we even need this one? This is... See what I mean? I'm just shockingly bad at puzzles. Right, okay. So let's... um. Okay. Let's put that there for one second. Let's see if I can get this one for whatever reason. It was hard to make sense of this place. Yeah, it really is. Right, let's move this then. Right. Well now I can walk across those which makes no sense. I mean, why would I why would I want to walk across these? But let's uh, give it a shot anyway. Brilliant. And I can't jump off of there or do anything. So hmm. This is a uh, yeah. See, I, this is this is really not my cup of tea. Um mainly because I I honestly do suck at puzzle games. Right, so that goes there. And this goes up and down. That that bridge is going up and down for some reason. Hold on. Let's just leave that there for one second. Let's go around the back of this. Let's see what's around the back of there. Have I missed something? Have I missed a trick around here? Is there something hidden? Nope, there's nothing hidden. There's no chest that gives me wings so I can just fly to the end, complete the game, save the day. Nothing like that. None of the Lord of the Rings stuff where... I don't know why they didn't just get Gandalf to summon a bird and drop the frickin' ring straight in the volcano from the bloody start. Okay, um... You see, nothing else goes up and down. And even if I put both the... Well, I can't pull it sideways, so there's no point in doing that. Unless... Is there a way to get it off? No, because then I won't be able to push it off. I don't know. I don't know. See, I'm stuck already, chums. Stuck already. Yeah, so there you go. Can you push the concrete loo roll onto the raising platform? Yeah, it, I, got, I took it off the raising platform. The first one I took it off of there. So, yeah, I've already took one off of there. So, and even if I did get it up there, where where am I going to take it after it's up there? You know what I mean? So, there was one on the top floor. If I put one on the middle floor, can I... I don't think I can push it off. Yeah, so, say if it's like this. If I was to push it off onto there... Yeah, stay there for a second. I can't actually push it or pull it this way or other way. I get off the freaking ladder. You can't actually push it one way or the other. 
you can only pull it the way that it rolls so I can't even get it up there to drop it down there to put it underneath that ladder so I don't think there's any that can go underneath that ladder apart from maybe this one at the top and let if I can get behind it okay well let's try that let's try that ah I need to get the other side of that loo roll at the top so if I can get to the other side of that loo roll at the top I can push it in that hole but that means I've got to get one on there okay but there's no way to raise this one up I'm, I'm confused as fudge because I can't get those loo rolls up on top of that platform unless there's a way to make this go up and down and it does look like it goes up and down it's got a spindle on it but I I don't hold on one second what happens can I no I was wondering if there was a push button or something to, to hold on let's go back and see that little dead chap and see if he's got anything to say little dead dude have you got anything you can tell me Oh right, great, we're back, we got out of there. Alright, uh, let's just leave that puzzle alone. <laughs> right, okay, we'll come back later. Maybe there's an ability that you get later or something to solve that puzzle. Maybe I went in that little room a little bit too soon. We'll just press on, we'll pretend that never happened. Yeah, that was probably maybe a waste of time. I don't think I can get over there yet either. Hello, you got anything new to say? The Ember was curious. I'm no. headed for the I've heard there's a nest there. A safe place. Okay. Brilliant. A nest, you say. Great. Right, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, well, I probably could have done that, but I don't know. I, it didn't it didn't feel possible. Okay, so I can get through there for some unknown reason. Alright, cool. Have you got anything new to say? about the frog yeah let's ask about the frog you saw the frog did the frog mention me i don't know you ask the frog about me see what they say Actually, oh okay no just please don't tell the frog how much i talk about them what the fudge okay ask about the fish they say catching a fish isn't the point no so i tell I myself so. that it's nice just to relax isn't it i tell myself that a lot I, I bet. I mean, when I, I found you, you'd... yeah, I'm going to ask about your hat. I want one. I chased one. old Blue Betty round this pond for years. You caught your hat. Okay. Days of my Forget that I said that, that I wanted fish. one. That must frickin' stink. Had to use myself as bait. Stuck on me head ever since. You used yourself as bait. Poor little worms. They didn't ask to be here. But, but how yet do you put fish them on without them? Okay. One for me, one for the fishes. Slurp them down. Nice. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. Right. Fair enough. Um, well, uh, let's let's go talk to the frog again and see if uh, he asks about the fisherman. Hello. The frog stared at Embo, its belly rumbling. Its eyes were fixed on Ember, but it was this the frog that Ember could hardly ignore the rumbling from the frog's belly. Okay. Right, well that's nothing then. What about these holes in these rocks? Can I go in that hole there? Can I go in this cave? Yes, I can. Okay. Completely missed that. Okay, cool. Let's pull this then. Sneak. Plow. Cool. Uh, right. And how do I get up there exactly then? Can I um, interact with this frog that's clearly in the middle of this pond hiding in... No. No, that'd be too simple, wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I, I guess to get to that upper area, I've got to go into a, a second cave would be my guess but I don't think I can get into said second cave no I can't get into those caves as yet so I'm guessing 
I may as well go back all the way to the start and you know I had the choice to go left as well I go left this time and we'll see if there's anything that helps me over there okay cool but like I said chumps puzzle games and me really don't mix I mean the only reason I picked this up is mainly because it's uh, done by Hello Games and uh, you know to support their studio and the fact that I've had countless years of free fun from um, no Man's Sky, I figured, well, you know, I want to support them. I'd grab the title, so chucking it on. But first impressions, I'd say if you like puzzle games, I think you're going to fall in love with this. I think this could turn into a little cult classic, almost a bit like the likes of Moss. I'd say it's on par with Moss. What was that little red dude doing up there? He just ran away. Okay, is this locked? Can I open it? The old gate was locked. Fantastic. Oh. Check out your um, satchel. Yeah, good idea. Why haven't I done that before? Because no one's told me how to look into my satchel and I don't know how. Okay. I guess it's not in the my satchel. Held its shining trophy tight. Oh, you've got the freaking key, you little git. Okay, how am I supposed to get that? Let's, let's see if we can get it off the crib. Let's go. Let's just sneak up on him. Hello, Mr. Crow. I would like that key, please. Please, may I have it? I'm pressing buttons. What the fudge? Okay. That was a little mini cutscene. That wasn't me just being crud. That, 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 I guess that's supposed to happen. Plop. Great. Okay. You see, I could just drop in there, couldn't I? But then I'd never get out again. That's a silly idea. Hey, look, there's a cave over there. The cave entrance was overgrown with dry brambles. So that's going to get me up to the other level so I can get across. And I might be able to interact with the frog in that pond that might be able to help me feed the frog in the bigger pond. And then maybe I might get a new ability that might let me levitate freaking bog roll shaped rocks or rotate them or something. What do you do? Oh, I've got some fire. Let's go burn the brambles. Let's go do that. Let's forget that we even saw the key. Let's, uh... Burn him and burn, burn. I told you I'd be a pyromaniac, didn't I? Let's uh, head into the cave. We'll keep this with me because it might shine a nice light. Take that, cobweb. Ah! That's sticky. I thought I thought that might burn the cobweb, but there we are. The broken net hung ominously around the skeleton's neck. Okay. Yeah, just take that busted net. Okay, cool. Maybe I might be able to fix it with some cobweb. Um, let's head round here. Hello! There's another dead body here. You're gonna make me do another impossible frickin' puzzle. You are, aren't you? Fudge! Okay, right. Well, we we'll give it a go. The stranger shivered in the cold. Right. I guess I'm gonna have to be a little bit wary of those things because they blow out my torch, won't they? So let's uh, see if this rotates them or something. They'd moved through such dark places. What the fudge? Okay. All right, I think I've worked this one out. So if I go grab this, I can set a light to that up there. And then I should be able to pull this lever again. That send it up there. They lay down and close yes. their eyes. And then I can grab my fire stick from up here. Oh no, I need to go get another bit of wood from down here then. It go out. It, 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 grab one, that's it. It's going to get blown out, but if I've still got the chunk of wood in my hands, Home, was a distant memory I should be able to relight it. Stolen by the passing miles. Heck yes! Burn the brambles. Winner, winner. Chicken freaking dinner. Let's throw that on there. Sweet. We got ourselves another ember. Lovely jubbly. Sweet. Nice one. There you go. Nice little victory whistle. Well done, Captain Steve. Brilliant. 
Yeah, that other puzzle wasn't as freaking easy though, was it? I'm fairly sure I'm going to get some sort of new ability or something to do that other puzzle. Otherwise, I can't see how I could have done it. But um, we'll see. Stranger blink at Ember. A winner is you. Thank you, Custom Horror. Alicia Chambers. Yes, that's brilliant. Thank you, Alicia. I don't know. I have no idea how long you've been asleep. But um, I'm liking the colour of your pillow sack far more than my own. The you stranger can... blinked at Ember. You're just going to say the same stuff. Already. Fair enough. How right, you can stay there. Let's have a look over this way. Oh, where am I now? Oh, I thought it would put me up on the higher ledge. That's odd. Okay, fair enough. Little mini shortcut there. Not that I wanted to come all the way back here. Great. Okay, let's go this way then. Okay, we're heading over this way. Brilliant. Did did I come through here? Yeah, this is where I got. I wanted to get the key from the parrot or whatever it was, the crow. Oh, there's some more freaking brambles I can burn there. Not that I really need to, but we could see if what the burning the brambles does there. Since we've got the fire, let's go do that quickly. We've got to remember not to forget that. Uh, yeah, there was. Mm, anything else? Oh look, there's a little staircase there. Love, nice. I've got to remember that the key went in the pond Inside earlier, didn't it? was a scrap of journal. Is that a new the ability? The on the water went on without me. Where have I landed? Vines and thorns stretch out to trip me. Right. Okay. Weird. There's a lot of weirdness. A lot of weirdness in this game. There really is. Right, okay, so let's head back down there. I don't know whether that's some sort of dodgy dungeon master type riddle. But it must be essential to the actual mission, I would have thought. Have you got anything interesting to say, my little friend? The stranger whispered. Ever feel like you are being watched? Yeah, by you creepy little guys. What does it feel like? Is it nice? It sounds nice. No, but... Do you ever get that feeling when you're in the street? You're just walking down the street and you feel like someone's watching you, like from a window or something up above. And you turn round, and before you've turned round, you've even got an idea of who's looking at you, whether it's male or female or, or whatever. You look where you think there is somebody watching, and there is somebody watching you from that angle. And you're right, it is a male or a female. I think there's a word for it, some sort of omnipresence or something. Whoa, he's after me. Cool. Yeah, but sometimes I get that feeling when I'm on my own, like if I'm in the kitchen or something making a sandwich, and it really, it's really unnerving. Right, anyway, what's this do? Oh, worms! Maybe I can give the worms to the um, the fisherman. Budging, come here, you. Right. See how you do now, git. Oh, for fudge's sake. Okay. That's gotcha. Now you're mine. The worm looked helpless with no way to escape. You're in my satchel, my friend. Picked it up, the worm let out a little yelp. Yeah, we've got ourselves a freaking worm. I can give that to the fisherman and he can um, feed it to the frog. That's what I'm thinking. Or I could just feed it to the freaking frog and, you know, stop the fisherman. But, um, oh, okay, right, so what's up there? I don't think I can reach that yet, can I? Unless, actually, yes, I can. I can just go up these little steps and I can just walk round to that. But what's going on here? I can push that down to make a little bridge. Nice, a little bit of a shortcut, so I don't have to worry about those red frogs. Cool. And uh, we can go over here and we can have a look at this little the chest. Diary. Nice. We're getting lots of paper. Unfamiliar trees, a path overgrown. Is this a resting place? A place between places? Hmm? I call Fair out, enough. but mine is the only voice. Brilliant. Hello there, Drew B. Yeah, it, it's actually finally dropped. I saw on Twitter that uh, you were sort of looking for this as well. But yeah, it's out now on, on PlayStation, which is awesome. So yeah, Drew B also has a channel and uh, does uh, gaming stuff. And he, he was a winner of one of the um, Atlas cards. Like? I sent it out to is him and nice? he's uh, 
He's put up a video of it. All, all arrived. Thank you for doing that, Druby. It's nice to see that it arrived with you, safe and sound. So yeah, that's cool. And I am enjoying your content as well. You've got quite a nice way about you. I like your voice and stuff. Right. Okay. Can I just get this out of here? Between the reeds. Right. It was just out of reach. Just out of reach. Just use a stick or something. Oh yeah, we can use the broken fishing net. Let's use that. Yeah, I might need to fix this net, eh? Alright, let's try something else. Was nestled between, but it was just out of reach. I can't use the worm. That would just be silly, wouldn't it, really? Yeah, it, I, if I use that, it's probably going to... Let's see what happens. It didn't seem like that would really help. No, I didn't think it would, but then uh, you still let me try the net, even though it's got a freaking hole in it, but there we are. What about you, little bluebird? Can you help with this? No, I think I might have to come back here after I've fixed the net. That seems like the most sensible thing, the most obvious of choices. Maybe if I help the fisherman, maybe he will fix my net. He said he's good at catching things, didn't he? Um, can I get up there? I don't think I can right now. No. So let's just go back to see the fisherman and uh, see if he can... If I help him with the worm, maybe he'll help me with the net. And then I can get that freaking key, and then er the world will be good. Well, it probably won't. There's probably going to be oodles and oodles of other puzzles that I'm never going to be able to solve, because my brain doesn't work that way. But let's uh, head on over here. Let's go see that fisherman. Hello. Was you there before? I don't remember you. Where'd you come from? Well, you're not wanting to talk to me. Okay, fine. Let's go this way. Dum 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 dum. Sweet. Now, I could just feed the worm directly to the frog, but no. I am going to go see the fisherman first, because, you know, he you did ask about bait, and he did mention worms. He did say he likes to eat them, though, so... I need some help. Can you fix my net? Noticed the broken net Ember was carrying. Sweet. Let me have a look. See what I can do. Brilliant! With a silk thread, the fisherman carefully knotted it together. Excellent! I didn't even have to give him the worm. This is this is better than I thought. With each knot he tied, a net began to form. Here you go. Good as new. Frickin' miracle worker! He fixed my frickin' net! Awesome! Okay, cool. Righto. Well, thank you. Let's just have a word. Goodbye. Brilliant. If you okay. need help catching anything, you just ask. You know what? I, because because you've been so freaking awesome, I'm, I'm going to see if I can get rid of this frog for you by giving him the worm. Because, yeah, you did mention, Mr. Fisherman, that he likes to eat your worms. Let's let's give the him the worm. Let's see what happens. Embo, its belly rumbling. Show item. We go with worm. Okay. Oh, fudge! He ate me! Shite! I didn't see that happening. This was not how Embo had imagined the end. No, it really isn't. This is like being Jonah and the frickin' whale. I hope I'm not dead. The gurgling of water, a deafening heartbeat. Fantastic. At least I'm still alive. But then... Oh, there's not another frog there. That's just how I get over there. I would have never have worked that out in a million years. By leading them to a lost forlorn. Well, thank you. I just hope that you can transport me back again and help me get that chest that's up on that ledge up there, if that's not asking too much of you, Mr. Frog. Well, hello. Oh, no, I'm going to have to do another freaking puzzle, aren't I? Ass And biscuits! Um, it's more of these giant the toilet rolls. Alone. Fudge, let's just hope this one makes more sense. Uh, Their friends have fallen aside. Well, so far, that's the only way I could push that. What came next. Yeah. The stranger had here. ventured on. Cool. No, if I do that, I'm going to be in a dead end. So let's push it there for now. Let go. We can go down this way. 
You see what I mean? That that other puzzle was way too hard for how early on in the game it is, to be honest, isn't it? That's so pointless. Yeah, that did feel a bit pointless, actually. Maybe I didn't need to do that. Ah, I see. Come with me, Rolly Man Rolly. Splosh. Yeah, now I can go up and round. Yeah, cool. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Do I move that one out of the way? <laughs> that was pointless. Yeah, wait. Oh, I see. I see what I do. I move it to about there, then run round and I can push it all the way. Ah, oh, no, there we are. That's it, done. Fantastic! So that was nice and simple, that one, in comparison to that other one before. That other one before did not feel solvable at my point in time. I'm still worried about that other puzzle. See that? Cool. Awesome. But we can go get that key now with the net, which is good. There you are! I'm doing quite good. I've rescued a few of these little chappies now. But you know what? I like to try and keep my streams under an hour so people can watch these on their lunch breaks and things. What I'll do is I'm going to end off it's now, but I'm going to carry on playing lately. and I'm going to create a, a second clip. Let's so I'm going to upload this one live and then I'll be carrying on to do more of these, these extra sort of um, episodes and I'll be putting this out bit by bit, a bit of a walkthrough, a bit of a gameplay. But my first impressions, because this is my first impressions live thing of this, I'm not really a puzzle fan but I am loving the ambience. I'm liking the characters. I feel for Ember. I'd like to know what the hell is going on in this world between worlds and why he's even there. So yeah, I quite like it and I do want to press on with it. And I'm going to see it through to the end or try my best to until I get frustrated and try and break my joypad, which will probably happen at some point. But anyway, you guys have been freaking awesome and I will carry on playing and I'll upload another clip of this tomorrow. I'll probably do maybe half hour ones or something. I don't know. I'll see how I get on. Anyway, you guys have been excellent and I'll see you guys later. Cheery bye for now. Let's uh, see if we can face off to the camera with a little ember. There we are. Excellent, eh? There's no camera mode on this game, but there we go. But yeah, that's that's a nice little place to end, I think. But yeah, uh, in the next in the next episode, though, you will see me use that net that just got fixed, and I'd get the key and stuff. So anyway, cheery bye for now. Take care all. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>